What's up, guys? Welcome back to Weekly Weird News. Yeah, yeah, got it. Human-like robotics are something that science fiction has been promising us for the last century or more. In mm -hmm. books, movies, video games, and so on, they all envision a future where humans and advanced robots are almost indistinguishable. The more cynical examples involve the robots eventually going rogue and deciding that humans need to die, but the more optimistic examples involve robots assisting humans and providing companionship. Mm -hmm. Think C-3PO or Data from Star Trek or Rosie the robot maid from the Jetsons or Wally or Tars from Interstellar or Johnny Five. That sure would be useful. Well, unfortunately, that kind of usefulness is still several years away. As we've already covered before, right now artificial intelligence is pretty damn good at beating humans at board games, but basically turns into a hipster Nazi type thing if you try to give it any sort of personality. Thanks, Tay. And on the actual robotics side of things, we're still struggling to build humanoid robots that can actually stand on two feet and not fall down. Mm -hmm. Just look at the annual DARPA Robotics Challenge where every year dozens of teams compete to see whose robot can best do human-like tasks and the vast majority of the robots just end up looking like drunk infants taking their first steps. They do a great job at making uh, creepy animal robots, though. Well, that's Boston Dynamics. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but let's say you aren't really interested in intelligence or usefulness uh, and only really care about looks. That's probably a good description of your online dating strategy, but Bam. it's also a way to best explain this robot, created by Ricky Ma of Hong Kong. She sure is pretty, look at that, until her face moves at all and then it's the creepiest thing ever. Ugh. Also, wait. That's supposed to be Scarlett Johansson, isn't it? He won't say. It's just based off of an unnamed actress. And it's fucking creepy. Yeah. Uh, so the reason this is so damn unsettling is because of something called the uncanny valley, mm -hmm. which is a term that gets tossed around a lot these days, but let's explain it. Basically, as a robot's appearance gets more and more human-like, going from something like R2-D2 to something like C-3PO, humans' responses get more positive and empathetic. But at a certain point, as the appearance of a robot gets closer and closer to being indistinguishable from a real person, the human response turns to just strong revulsion. It's theoretically possible to get past that point with a robot that looks close enough to human that the feelings of empathy and positivity return, but the Uncanny Valley has so far been a huge hurdle for not just robotics, but also for CGI and special effects. Some examples of movies that failed to get past the Uncanny Valley are Final Fantasy Spirits Within, uh, Polar Express, Beowulf, and Tron Legacy. Ugh. One interesting aspect of the Uncanny Valley is that it's affected a lot by whether or not the subject moves or is still. Uh, wax celebrities at Madame Tussauds are pretty believable, but imagine if they also moved. Mm -hmm. Unsettling. Which takes us back to this dude's Scarlett Johansson robot that may or may not have a fleshlight built into the crotch. Probably does. He doesn't say either way, so who knows? Uh, the face of the Mark I, as he's calling her, looks pretty damn realistic when she's sitting still, but as soon as she starts jerking her head around or making any kind of facial expression, uh, realism gets thrown out the window. Her movements are rigid and not at all like how a human's face and head would actually move, and it's undeniably creepy. Yeah, I don't like it. Mark I also serves no real purpose other than to vaguely look hot. Mm -hmm. She can move her limbs, but that too looks really unsettling, especially the hands. Mm -hmm. They're just like... <laughs> It's gonna break your dick off. Yeah, and the limbs don't serve any actual purpose other than to look vaguely human, and the limbs, the legs, just, uh, the body looks weird. Yeah. Uh, also, the closest thing that she has to an AI is a short list of voice commands that trigger pre-programmed movements and spoken phrases. She's, this guy just built one of the presidents from Disney's little presidents show they have at Walt Disney World or whatever. Yeah. But it's Scarlett Johansson. Mm-hmm. Sure. But what's actually impressive about this, though, is that uh, Ricky Ma here built Mark I for around $50,000, and started the project with no real knowledge of robotics. Something like this would have cost exponentially more just 20 years ago, but thanks to 3D printing and online resources, this guy was able to just say, fuck it, and teach himself to build a lady robot in his house in his spare time through trial and error, and potentially fuck it. And now he's getting even closer to living uh, with Scarlett Johansson than you'll ever be. Yeah. Where's your ScarJo robot, loser? All I can order is a a uh, flashlight that's modeled after a famous porn star's vagina. Or, or an alien. Yeah, or an alien from Avatar. Yeah. So Mark One here, or Scarbot, or yeah. whatever, it's honestly a lot less creepy than the stuff being made by Hanson Robotics, an actual robot company whose robots fall much deeper down into the trenches of the Uncanny Valley thanks to the fact that they actually have an AI built into them and can be interacted with. And their faces are way more expressive. They recently showed off their robot Sophia at South by Southwest, but they've been doing stuff like this for years, making various robots, including one that looks like it's wearing the skin of Albert Einstein, and another that looks like it's wearing the skin of sci-fi author Philip K. Dick. 
Uh, over the years, their robot faces have gotten more and more expressive, and therefore, more and more creepy. Yeah, see, there are around 43 muscles in the human face that all work together to make facial expressions. Mm -hmm. Which is definitely more points of control than any of these Hanson robots actually have. You probably couldn't fit 43 different, like, servos Yet. And shit inside of a, a life-size human face. Yet. Yet! Yes! So what you end up with is something that resembles a human face, but moves in a totally different, much more simplified, totally unnatural way. Like, if a person had a severe stroke, but that stroke only affected, like, very specific facial muscles, mm -hmm. and everything else was just fine. Uh, Hansen says their goal is to, quote, create human-like, empathetic, and engaging robots that are capable of building a trusted relationship with people. And to, quote, create a better future for humanity by infusing artificial intelligence with kindness and compassion. But they've got a very long and steep climb out of the Uncanny Valley before any of that is going to happen. These robots are terrifying. Mm -hmm. They're terrifying. Just get a real doll. They're cheaper. You can have sex with it all you want. They don't. They even give you a giant uh, 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 flashlight. Uh, no, like one of those. Uh, what are they called? Now I'm blanking on the term. Flashlight? No, you know, like a pipe cleaner. But they have a big one, and you clean out it, its insides with the pipe cleaner. And I think you run a hose through it or something. Something like that. I don't. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I didn't invent it. Ah. Uh, no. Yeah. No. You can pose it all different ways. Whatever you want. There's also a men one. There, there's a man I version know, too. I know, I know. But is anyone buying that? Uh, rich, lonely people? Yeah. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy you a doll that you can have sex that with. That has private parts and probably in the next couple of years moves around, but really unnaturally. But hey, if you've never fucked a real human being, you don't know. You don't know the difference? It's perfect for you. Well, also, like, uh, they're talking about how they want to make robots you can trust, which is a, an immediate red flag. I don't trust robots. Mm -hmm. I don't trust them Tesla self-driving cars. Why would I? Get out of here. Well, that's fun, but uh, <laughs> let's move on to our favorite weird and real headlines from real news outlets that we saw online this week. Mm -hmm. Starting with, National Poo Museum exhibits encourage excitement for excrement. That's a fun headline that's going to... That's a good headline. Get people right out there into the museum. Yeah, so this is on the Isle of Wight, mm. the UK. Yeah. And, uh... Um, so they have that race that kills everyone. <laughs> no, that's Isle of Man. Yeah, oh, Isle of yeah. Man. <laughs> Get your a aisles of, right. A lot of aisles up there. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so it's just a bunch of different poops. And they're like in these... They're preserved in these like crystal ball sort of things. Oh, you got human poo. You got I remember when I was a kid, poo. I got really, ex really excited when I saw my first piece of dinosaur poop. I think they, they I don't know if they have dinosaur poop. They better. Dinosaur poop. They got different animal poop, and you can look at them and spin, spin the, the globe around. And I don't think they have snow globes for it yet, but I'm sure it's coming. On the gift shop on the way out. Yeah. Buy your own shit. But it'd be cool if they let you take a shit and then they put it. Preserved yeah. in a crystal thing. And then they send you your an ancestry report in the mail? Yeah. Just like the DNA test? Mm hmm All right. German soccer club Deinster SV posts blackface team photo to show solidarity. It's not as bad as it sounds. I mean... <laughs> it sounds pretty bad, Elliot. Well, so blackface is generally something you shouldn't do. Yeah. Especially here in the U.S. We have a very bad history Was it with Shane it. Dawson that did it that one time? Probably. Yeah. They're all terrible. I think it was. Anyway, so what happened is this football club in Germany, they have two players who I think are from uh, Sudan. They're black, they're mm -hmm. from Africa. And uh, apparently those guys were getting a lot of shit from fans and stuff. And they got like roughed up some uh, like soccer event. Mm. So they were very pissed off about that. So they didn't actually put on blackface, but they photoshopped the picture of the, the team lining up, photoshopped all of them to have black faces. <laughs> It's starting to sound real bad. Yeah, it they sounds photo real bad. They photoshopped the whole team to be black and put like a caption like, hey, these Sudanese guys are our friends. They're just like us. Yeah. We're them. They're us. Like, we're all Sudanese together today. Yeah. So don't fuck with our friends. Well, I mean, I, it they was were very, trying to very, be nice. It was a very well-intentioned thing. It was a nice gesture. It was a very nice gesture. But, I mean... It always boggles my mind how many things happen without any kind of like oversight or someone just being but, like, like in maybe Europe, we they don't do that. they don't give a shit over there about yeah. blackface. Like they have like every fucking Christmas you see Black Peter just like hanging out on the side of the street like, hey kids. And they're like, oh it's Black Peter, Schwartz Peter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I, different, different cultures. Different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Hispanics love Speedy Gonzalez. That. Yeah. yeah. Maybe white people are just a little too. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. 
Man reported to police for revenge fart after woman refused to have sex. Was a, he was like, not crop, charged. Crop though. dusted? Yeah, he like came over to the girl's apartment. He's like, was bang. And she's like, nah. And so he's like, fine, I'm leaving. And like right before he walked out the door, he was like, <laughs> just like left a little present for That's her. fine. And then he left. Yeah. She said it was just an awful, overpowering smell. She went to the cops. The cops were like, technically it's not illegal. <laughs> yeah. But it yeah. still made its way to the newspapers. This is in Sweden, by the yeah. way. Yeah. It is in bad that, taste. That and great sure Swedish sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it's fine. Yeah, I fart in front of my girlfriend all the time. You are a sexual abuser. <laughs> That's not true. That's assault. <laughs> Yeah. New York taxi drivers to be banned from flirting with or ejaculating on passengers. That's probably a good law. One of those is something, you know, that probably happens a lot. Mm -hmm. One of those And then some... one of them is flirting. <laughs> hey! I mean, do they have a big ejaculation problem in New York taxis? If doctors are doing it on patients, I don't see why it's weird that taxi drivers would do it on Did the bus. Did Uber pay for this article? <laughs> they up. planted it? Yeah. But yeah, uh, no, now they're just like, it's a... Uh, it seems like one of those laws that are like, ah, oh, fuck, we never made that law. We should probably make that. Yeah, it's incl it's mostly about flirting, though, and I think this is good. It applies to Uber, Lyft, all yeah, of the yeah. ride-sharing things. But it's basically like, they're not allowed to flirt with passengers at all. Because mm -hmm. if you know any woman who's ever ridden an Uber by herself, this is a constant oh, yeah, problem. Yeah. Where fucking creepy dudes driving in cars, you're just like, well, I can't go leave. anywhere. Can't, yeah, I'm stuck. He's, yeah. You're being held captive in this car. Well, this yeah, I started driving for lifts like to uh, meet some new people. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, buddy. <laughs> now that I've got you here for the next 15 minutes, yeah. Tell me about you. Yeah. Oh, is that your got that, a boyfriend? Was that your home address that I picked you up at? <laughs> cool. Yeah, What's it, your apartment number? It gets real creepy. That's uh. One of those things, I hate to use the word privilege, but I do have the male privilege of not being hit on by fucking Uber drivers, which mm -hmm. sounds fucking awful. Yeah. So, this is a good law. It does sound very uncomfortable. Yeah. No. I just, I, most of the time I don't like talking to them anyway. Oh, I, I gotta talk it. to a person. Leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Gonna be on my phone this whole time. Yeah, we're terrible. Yeah. Bronx man busted in Vermont with over 1,400 bags of heroin in his rectum. As happens all the time. See, the headline's a little misleading, though, mm -hmm. because it's not 1,400. He had three condoms full of heroin, which is a lot to yeah. stick up your butthole. Yeah. But they said it, like, equaled, it's worth, it would divide into 1,400, like, baggies of heroin. I don't think there's, I've never used heroin. I don't know if there's a standard. Is it a measuring size? Of a, is it a baggie? I don't know. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. Would they call it a baggie up there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, at least one of them didn't pop, and then, like... Yeah, you'll die. Instant heroin. That happens a lot. Yeah. Unfortunately, it happens to a lot of people that are forced into that situation. Yeah, don't really have a choice. Yeah. They're like, hey. You want to go to the United States? Yeah. We're going to fill your breast implants with, like, a million dollars worth of heroin. Yeah. And they're going to be really shitty and probably burst at the slightest pressure. Mm -hmm. And then you're dead. Mm -hmm. That's well. sad. <laughs> Alabama teacher arrested for sex with student days after wife arrested on same charge. With the same student? No, the wife banged a, a boy, uh -huh. and he banged a girl. Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe they planned it. How, how young were the students? Under 18. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't know, 17? It's, it's very strange. <laughs> there was also one recently about how uh, this woman was having an orgy with a bunch of uh, her students, oh, yeah, but they were over 18, but I think she's still getting charged. But her husband knew about it, because he was like a cuck. Oh. And so, Goddamn yeah. cucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But get the students in there. Mm, I have no power right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Great. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. It's very, it's very strange that two people like this would be committing the same, I guess. Maybe I it's guess. a fetish. It, it has to be. Well, mm -hmm. it didn't work out for them. Yeah. Passenger turns violent after being told he can't do yoga on plane. Isn't yoga supposed to, I guess that's what happened, is yoga supposed to calm you down, relax this you, guy, stretch you out, and then like he couldn't get it in, so he's like, maybe that's his anger management. It sounds like it is. This yeah. guy sounds like he has some uh, mental health issues. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Did he get yeah. arrested? 
Yeah, no, yeah. they had to like divert the plane. He's like, he's a Korean dude. He's so he's in jail in Honolulu, and they're like, well, we can't send him back to Korea because that would involve putting him on a plane. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait this out a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Did they give him a yoga mat for his cell? I hope so. Yeah, that'd be nice. Doing doing yoga in a jail cell real hard. Yeah. You're gonna really fuck up your knees and elbows. Mm -hmm. Very hard in there. Mm -hmm. Man backs out of gas station robbery attempt, saying he was only kidding. It's a prank. It's Wow. Uh, it I mean, wasn't even on April 1st either. Yeah, so who knows if he's telling the truth or not. Yeah. Maybe he, he really meant to rob that place after all. He went in and he's like, oh, I'm robbing this place. And then the guy's like, I'm going to call the cops. The guy's uh, like, I was just ah, kidding. just kidding. Did he have then, a weapon? I don't know. Mm. But after, he didn't just leave. He's like, I'm going to go use the bathroom. So he, went to, <laughs> he went to the bathroom and then and he so, left. No, that was to prove that he really wasn't going to rob the place. I was just, Watch, if I was if I was really going to rob you, I'd be gone right now. Yeah. The fact that I didn't really want to rob you, I'm going to prove it. No robber would stick around at the scene of the crime. Yeah. Obviously. So call the cops. I did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. That's his mental gymnastics that he did for that. His mental yoga. Mental yoga, yeah. yeah. Woman spends weekend trapped in restroom of local library. Because she was going to rob it? And then she said, just kidding. No, she went and took a shit at like, closing time and got locked in. One of my biggest fears. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't have a cell phone. It's like that movie Frozen, not the musical one, but the one where the, the guy's like, oh, I'm going to take one more run on the uh, ski slopes. And then they're like, Grrr, like when he's halfway up the uh, Oh, yeah, they lift. all get eaten by wolves. Mm -hmm. Spoiler. Yeah, yeah, that movie was hard to watch. Yeah. Uh, but I, I bet she really like regretted not breaking the rules and bringing the books into the toilet. Oh man, you're not allowed it's to like do that. that. It's like the end of that episode of uh, Twilight Zone where she's in a library with millions of words to there read. There was time, <laughs> and she had nothing else to do. But they were just outside of her grasp. I mean, if you're, gonna get, you're in a toilet, yeah, you if you're gonna get trapped shit. anywhere, like at least in a bathroom, you're not gonna. They're not gonna find you three days later, surrounded by your own piss and shit. Yeah, like in an elevator. Yeah, yeah, that's scarier. Yeah. At least there you can flush. Did you hear they shit themselves? Mm -hmm. And yeah. there's, there's no camera in there, so the footage can't leak and embarrass you. Yeah. Like on the, the, the guy that like shits shits himself on the elevator. That's on the internet. He loses his mind. Well, yeah. Mm. And plus, you got to know. Like at that point, it's like I'm not trapped here forever. Someone will be here on Monday. Yeah. Go I can. It out. Yeah. I can sleep. You're gonna get real hungry in there though. Probably eat some toilet paper. Maybe. Vaping congressman accused of using campaign funds on $1,300 worth of Steam games. Now, we're going to cover this more in depth on Tugs, because this is the most Tug story ever. Yeah. But yeah, basically, there's a vaping congressman, first of all. I love that, that regardless of the story about him spending money on Steam games, he is now officially known as the vaping congressman. Well, because he vaped yeah, while giving testimony in Congress I know. about vaping laws. Yeah. And he was just like, just a fucking huge, <laughs> obnoxious cloud. Yeah. And people... A lot of people take issue with us making fun of vaping. We don't hate vaping. We yeah. just think it's a little obnoxious to do indoors when you're around other people. Or just in public blowing gigantic clouds. Of yeah. Sun. Well, when vaporizers first came out like three years ago... You the, couldn't do that. Yeah, the amount of like steam or whatever that would come out of your mouth... Vapor? Vapor, yeah. <laughs> it was not a whole lot. Now it's like ridiculous. It's yeah, they, out they get the, the, the mods where they turn it all the way up. Yeah. yeah. That's what we don't like. If you're if you're trying to improve your health, yeah, God bless you. Who knows though? Just don't don't. The science is still out on that one. Yeah. Just quit smoking in general. Anyway, yeah, stay tuned for uh, that episode of Tugs, probably tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, in the meantime, check out some of our other shit. We got Tech Tuesday about how title, just more title news. You guys like hearing about title from us, don't you? Yeah, sure. Then we have a DC movie shakeup happening. Whoa! And schedule. also a podcast with the creator and star of the movie Hardcore Henry, which is a crazy first-person action movie. That you should all go see this weekend because it's fun. Watch it and then watch our podcast and then watch it again. Mm -hmm. It's like a behind-the-scenes after you've seen it. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.